Hello everybody! Welcome back to another Mike Tindu Talks. I am joined again by the lovely Kali Macken and Jewel Moon. Thank you again for joining me. Yeah, you still remember our names! <laughs> how could I forget uh, your names? Sorry, uh, I'm kind of forgetting how to put my hands together. Let's. Uh, there it is, I figured it out! Yeah! <laughs> I kind of just forgot how to do hands. I forgot how to use motor skills. Dang. All right, we are... Oh, shoot, the camera's off. <laughs> Can someone go turn the camera on? <laughs> turn the camera on, turn the camera on. <laughs> what? <laughs> there you go. All right. <laughs> Uh, so, we have uh, a couple of topics today. Uh, first one we're going to talk about, we'll talk about probably the, well, actually it probably isn't the bigger of the three, but we're going to talk about Pokemon Snap first. Uh, oh. <laughs> 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 well, damn, it was at the, at, at, the, at the drop of the name and she's gone. <laughs> 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 but yeah, Pokemon Thank Snap you. came out last week, uh, last Friday, and I've already completed it. Not fully, but I've done the story. Uh, did that on stream. Um, it's a it's a very peaceful game, very relaxing. It's, it's like one of those games that you just kind of sink into uh, if you just want to relax on something and just be like, yo, I took a picture of that Pikachu. You see that Pikachu? I took a picture of him. Although I did... so chill. It's good. It's very chill. I did get a picture of him rolling over wanting belly rubs, so that was pretty cute. <laughs> rub, it, rub, it, rub, it. rub the belly. So, uh, what's what's uh, what's what, what's your thoughts on it, Kelly? <laughs> well, if you, if, do you want to start with me because I got a long one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, me uh, and Jill are pretty much kind of. So, unless Jill has more to say. I guess. Uh, I. Oh, do you have anything else to say? Me? Um. Oh, I said Jill. Oh, I thought I said you. Never mind. Oh. <laughs> I didn't hear my name. Well, I did, but I'm still like, oh, I guess I'm... I'm the, the, Jill! <laughs> Don't listen to Callie, I recommend the game. I'm not... No, no, okay, 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 okay. I, I don't think, I don't think it's a bad game or whatnot. If you like Pokemon, more power to you. Should it be $80 or for standard price game? Sorry, I live in Australia. Uh, no, I, I'm going to just say no. It, it shouldn't be $80. It shouldn't be a full price retail game at all. I, I think it's ridiculous that it costs that much. It's cute and all, but I guess the reason why I, I really have not liked it, one is the grinding aspect. I hate grinding in video games. That's just a personal thing. I never like grinding. I like always just moving from one thing to the next thing. That's just, I just prefer flow. I play Sonic. And I kind of think I played a game already early, uh, late last year that is kind of what I would want out of a Pokemon Snap sequel. And uh, I generally think it's a much better game and it's cheaper and it was more unique and it was fun. <laughs> and that's Bug Snacks. <laughs> I, I thought I thought that game was uh, was really interesting. Yeah, yeah, you can go doom all you want, but I actually <laughs> I'm going for range when I can't <laughs> I, I, I thought Bug Sex was a really fun sort of chill game which had a little bit of a mystery and a story to it. I liked how it was a game where you kind of walked around 3D, which I honestly I'm kind of shocked they didn't do something with that earlier for um, Pokemon Snap because I feel like that'd be like running around with Pokemon would have been a lot more interesting than just being in that machine because I feel like with you being limited to that movement with Pokemon Snap being just an on rail camera game you get so many people taking the pictures of the exact same thing the exact same poses the exact same angles and with Bug Snacks not entirely just being about taking pictures it's also about, you know, trying to collect the bug snacks. I felt like it had a lot more interesting things to do with its gameplay. I uh, just, I don't know, I found Snap to be kind of dull. I guess you could, I guess you would totally find it relaxing if you're really into Pokemon. I'm not. Uh, I don't think it should be full price. Even as a Pokemon fan, I think, I think most people could probably say it's not worth full price. Like, it, that's a little ridiculous. For I... the amount of content that is there, there's just not enough. I would agree that full price See... does seem a bit overpriced for a Pokemon Snap game, but like, 
the, the thing about everything getting the same poses, there are certain interactions that you can do that not everyone will get the same pose because the Pokemon can... There, there, there are like uh, more interactions where Pokemon will move around you a lot more than just, you know, like how you can get Bidoof to do this and like everyone gets that picture. There have been pictures where yeah, no. I have gotten a different angle to someone else because it's a special uh, interaction. But I see where you're coming from with the fact that you can just like, like in that other game, you can walk around and get like this basic pose, but from a different angle, like no one else can. Hmm. Like you, things can be a bit more like un unique and whatnot. Um... I, I, I don't know, I, I haven't finished the game, uh, and I was gonna make a video on it, but I ended up scrapping it because it was just like, it wasn't doing anything for me. Uh, I felt like I had to try to push myself so hard to be kind of into, into the game and doing the recording, but I just like, didn't feel genuine and I was just like, nah, I, 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 I usually make one Pokemon video a year, and I don't want it to be Snap. I want it to be my ass getting kicked by Jill in the Diamond and Pearl remix. <laughs> that sounds fun. <laughs> Oh man, I can't can't wait for you to find more rocks to throw at Caddy. Uh, <laughs> no, probably won't. no. This time, I'm gonna go to the the daycare and I'm gonna get six pip pops. Six, six, six pip pops. Pip -ups. <laughs> just, just six pip pops. Watch pip up now. Be able to learn something like rock two more with stealth rock again. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you want to say on uh, Snapchat? Um. Well, does uh, Box Next have uh, Pikachu? Uh, no, that's what I thought. I think. Uh, yeah, but it yeah. has Bunger. 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 Obsolete. I eat him. What? <laughs> 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 Yummy. Absolutely, I eat him. <laughs> All right, well, oh, my arm is now a burger. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, moving on to the next topic, which um, I think, I'm not sure if all of us here are gonna. Uh, it, it's, it's something I quite enjoyed, and I'm, I know Callie's enjoyed it quite a bit, and Jewel for different reasons, is the Metopia demo. <laughs> Uh, the meme maker, you guys. Yeah, yeah, the, uh, <laughs> the, 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 fr the free <laughs> meme maker that they added to the Switch, which is better than the meme maker they have because it can hold 500 memes, way more customization, and you can send it to friends for free. Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> I can't wait to have all my shit for Thalamo. <laughs> what, was, <laughs> what was that voice? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, uh, no. me, the Metopia demo. Uh, so, am I the only one here who's played Metopia all the way through on the 3DS? Yes, I believe you are. As a yeah. Metopia fanatic, what is with me and the 3DS games? Uprising, Metopia. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Metopia, I really enjoyed Metopia for the 3DS. I can understand where some complaints come with like people saying that its uh, biggest offense is repetition or repetitiveness. I understand that, but I I find the game so wholesome I don't care. Uh, <laughs> it's just such a funny, wacky, random game that I really enjoyed it on the 3DS, and I was so happy to see it get announced for Switch and the demo coming out uh, with the new features of like being able to create these memes with all these different makeups and wigs and the ability to share them. And if you don't have any interest in getting Metopia, I would still recommend getting the demo just so you can share memes with friends. Because like I've gotten so many memes on my meme maker now um, from people who mm. I never had their memes from because they're able to share it. And I'm uh, I, I'm, I'm just like, yeah, I got you mean now. Thank you. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> nice to kind of have at least a decent way of sharing basic memes among uh, Switch owners. Exactly. But, um, I, I'm super excited for Metopia. I liked what I played of the 3DS one, and I wanted to play it more. It's just the Switch was out, and I'm someone who <laughs> found it really difficult to head back to the 3DS. Like, a lot of people did. Yeah. Um, once the Switch was, like, the new console... It just playing 3DS just it wasn't as comfortable. I didn't like the envelope. The, I don't like the circle pad of the 3DS. But I'm I'm very excited. Uh, I'm very excited to be playing it finally on the Switch. And yeah, no, I, I have Sonic and Amy Mies made. So <laughs> that's so well done. I'll put I'll put the code up on screen somewhere so you can go get sure, yourself. You, 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 you can can give my Amy away. What a baby. She is baby. Uh, go get her. <laughs> uh, but no, uh, I, I'm super excited for it. And uh, <laughs> shit, Marcus might be finally in the one of my streams again because he'll be on my team. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah, same actually. <laughs> 
I can't wait to have the Dark Lord because my Dark Lord, I know you've changed yours, okay? My Dark Lord's going to be darling. <laughs> Bayonetta. My Dark Lord's going to be Artemis, so just so I can call him the Dork Lord. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one joke I want. But, <laughs> yeah, like I, Kai I said with the Amy Me she made, it, it's so well done. That's another thing I've seen about this game is that there can be so many creatively and mm. well done Mii's. Like, for me, I see there's two kinds of Mii's. There are Mii's that look so artistically well done, but unfortunately in game they, they fall, fall apart. apart. And then there's Mii's that look very nice in game, that work in game, and that when they're move, when they're expressing, moving around, they don't like throw off the illusion or anything. Um, mm. But but both concepts are really cool. I love seeing people's Mii's and how what they do with them. No, I I I 100% agree. Uh, it is a shame that, yeah, no, because there's some really cool looking Sonic ones going around that literally make them look like the proper Sonic the Hedgehog characters. Yeah. But yeah, as soon as soon as you tilt them, as soon as you, you see them at a different angle, they just, they just fall apart, they just break, and yeah. it's really upsetting. Uh, it's unfortunate, but at least, like, with some, some, some Mii's really work, though. Like, oh, yeah. some Mii's, it's just, just a little tweaking and whatnot. I, I think, I think my Amy Mii is pretty good. Like, she, I think it works really well at all angles, um, which was a focus for me when making her because she's a baby. But I still, I still love all the tools that Nintendo has given us for it because it's, it's just really, really awesome to kind of go full on hand with Mii's and... It makes me want to meet. It, it makes me want a Tomodachi life, so these oh, me's yes. uh, can kind of exist in another game. Yes, uh, with all this customization. Like Tomodachi Life for 3DS was such a, was, again made by obviously the same team that Metopia was such a good game. I hope it does get a sequel uh, for the Switch because like with, with the customization given in Metopia in Tomodachi Life with new things and hopefully more. Um, things that you can control. That was the only thing I had about Tomodachi Life was that not a lot of it you could control. People would make friends with random people. They would start liking people, um, which I guess it's mm. natural, I guess, for a human to do. Uh, but at uh, least a little bit more control would be nice. But uh, no, I would, I'm super looking forward to Metopia, and I hope we do see Tomodachi Life sequel. Um, but yeah, the, the only me I've made that I'm kind of proud of is the new John. Uh, so, you know, if, if you want a derpy little chicken in your in your game, just go, go pick up John. <laughs> He's a derpy little chicken. Baby boy, baby. <laughs> what about you, Jill, with me, Topia? Her, 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 me, her, uh, me, maker. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jill. What? <laughs> There's a game with that jump? <laughs> <laughs> Honest question, have you actually played the demo? Like, the actual game of it? I played the one on 3DS when it came out on 3DS as a demo. <laughs> so, that, so that's a no for the Switch version, then. <laughs> it's a no from me, too. Um, <laughs> and I've probably got like 15 hours in that demo. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all in the mimic? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, last uh, main topic, which probably will be a quickie, uh, and that is the random release of Super Mario Party's oh, new online god. that just randomly came out that. last week. And it's just like, uh, <laughs> like when I woke up and saw that, and people were like, yo, Mario Party has online. I was all like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> no, Mario Party. Actually, before, um, I actually forgot Mario Party had online before that update because we I never played it because we tried it once. Yeah, it, it was shit. It was if we so didn't do bad. it anymore. Yeah. And then they brought this new online and I was sitting there thinking, oh, it's probably going to, you know, be like unusual online. But no, I was pleasantly surprised that playing this online, I, I, we tested it with me, Callie, uh, Snake and Spectral, which is a one UK, two Australians, and one America, and it was like we were playing in the same room. It was so yeah, it was, good. It was practically flawless. It was so um, good. It was shocking. Um, the only times it really <laughs> lagged was, was when it was loading the game or like loading the mini games. But because of the in-game little cutscene before every mini game starts, by the time that little preview was done, it was back to being flawless. It was it's so well done. Granted, we played it and realized that oh shit, Super Mario Party actually isn't a good game, but the online's pretty good. <laughs> no, 
it's not. Which makes me think, I wonder if Nintendo, like, just what, because obviously Monster Hunter has come out and that online's using the new service. I wonder if Super Mario Party is using the new service and Nintendo just want to test it out on a first party game that isn't, like, super big or big online they just went with super mario party if they were to do that with a big game like mario maker 2 i would probably end up playing mario maker 2 a lot more because mario maker 2's online is awful <laughs> just there's, there's nothing there's no <laughs> word to describe it it's awful <laughs> it's pretty bad um but like if they started like dishing out this online service to more games like like that like so many more games would be more enjoyable online it'd be nice to see it'd be nice to see mario maker 2 get it but that's literally the only game i can think of that'd be nice uh that would be good to have the online update because yeah it's online wi-fi is completely terrible Smash yeah. Brothers, it would be also appreciated if it got that. Shame I don't give two shits about Smash Brothers anymore, but, you know, I guess it'd be good. I, I feel like Smash would be in a similar boat to Mario Party. The uh, the better online would help, but its online features are still bad. <laughs> <laughs> They're really bad. What about you, Jewel? Well, you, actually, you haven't had a chance to play it yet, have you, Jewel? No, I don't have Super Mario Party. I don't have it. <laughs> you don't have it. You're not. You're I have no cover. Out on anything, <laughs> we still need to try out part of the party, Callie. Yeah, no, I'd be, I, I'd be down to do that with four people and whatnot and give that a go. Because um, I, I did actually play another board in my Discord the other day with four players. And we did like the gold board. Mm. And it was alright. It was still, it's still just, it's just, it's just a, not a good board game. No. Like, that's the problem. Like, the online now works well, and some of the mini games are fine. But the fundamental design of the game and how you play it, it's just so incredibly flawed that even it having online, I still can't give a damn about its existence. Yeah, it's... <laughs> yeah, it's a, a good Wi-Fi to a game that just... Yeah, fundamentally. Mm. <laughs> it could have been better. I guess I, I can't say it's my least favorite Switch game because it was. Um, yeah, but, yeah, mm. it definitely isn't anymore. I, I, I don't know. I, I honestly really don't know what to think about it. I guess I'm impressed for the future. Yeah. Uh, because, holy damn, that is incredibly impressive online Wi-Fi code. Like, that's that aspect of it I'm really interested in and kind of love to see what Nintendo does with their future of their Wi-Fi stuff. But, like, the game itself is so bad. <laughs> like, I, I, I just don't want to play it. I will rather play literally any Mario, other Mario Party game over it. It, it's, it's awful. Mm. It's, it's so awful. <gasps> Please give it to a game that hey, needs Katie, it. Yeah. I'm gonna put in a Meeple Festival. You want to play? Oh. You know what, Joel? I rather. Oh no, you am kidding. I rather. <laughs> because at least, like, yeah, it's stupid. But it's like, okay. <laughs> at least it's not insulting me. I guess, because Mar Super Mario Amiibo Party... <laughs> I mean, Amiibo Festival insults me in a way as well, because it exists. But, like, that's, like, the biggest crime it does, it exists. Like, I can at least, you know, I guess tolerate playing it. <laughs> Super Mario Party insults me. The reason why I hate Super Mario Party is because it feels like they are teasing the player. And whatnot, they're like, yeah, this is what you wanted, right? Yeah, it's like the old Mario Parties. You're not in the car now. This is You like it now, you dumb... Idiots? Yeah, it's good, right? No, we don't, because you completely screwed up so many mechanics of it. The boards are too small, the dice blocks are dumb, there should never be a tier list. Why do you, does everyone <laughs> get money for winning, like, not even winning minigames? Why are Star 10 coins? It's so stupid on so many goddamn levels. I hate it. I really hate Super Mario Party. It takes but it's really like a cool minigame where you're slapping people to get to the camera. <laughs> The mini games aren't the problem. They it's never have to. percent the board. Like I, I, I think some of the mini games are duds, and some of them are pretty good. Um, it, I mean that's that's the case with every Mario Party. There's yeah. always going to be some that you absolutely love, like Dungeon Duos from Mario Party Four. I love it, but Mario Party Four also has this puzzle mini game that's four player, and I hate it, which is really <laughs> stupid. I can't remember what it's called. Yeah. Um. But the mini games are not the problem. It's a hundred percent just the board mechanics that they do not care. They don't understand what people want. And for me, the fact that they kind of do this half-ass effort feels more insulting than putting people in a car. I hate Super Mario Party. I really, really do. Super Mario Party is. I don't think people know how much I hate Super Mario Party. Well, they but will I now. <laughs> <laughs> like for me, Super Mario Party is like two steps forward, four steps backwards. <laughs> four steps backwards is being incredibly generous. I'm saying that now because of it's good uh, Wi-Fi. Ah, uh, 
that's and then three steps forward and five steps backwards. Alright, so shall we move on to some of the questions asked? <laughs> <instead>? Sure! <laughs> no. Alright, so first question we have is from Sky or SkyFi. Um Thank you for sneezing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mike and Callie, do you have any hobbies beside gaming and YouTube? Uh, they put in brackets, sorry if it's been asked, haha. <laughs> and they also have a separate question for you, Jewel. And Jewel, did I hear you've been playing Spyro? How are you liking it? Now, I've only played Spyro 1 at the moment. I'm gonna get to Spyro 2 the next time I pick that game up. But it's a good game. But holy moly, are some of the collectibles the hardest thing ever? <laughs> it's like, why did they do that? You're just like, ooga booga, gotta put it in this spot! You gotta figure out this very specific thing that you gotta do, and I'm like, okay, thank you! I gotta look up the guy! So that's it for us. That's all I got. Is <laughs> 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 Sorry, Kelly. What, what was the other part of the question? <laughs> oh, for me and you? Um, yeah. Do you have any hobbies beside gaming and YouTube? Gaming's my life, no. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess no, for, I, I really don't. <laughs> I guess for me, my other hobby would I guess be my other job, martial arts. Um, for those who don't know, I teach martial arts, uh, Choi Kwang Do, which is more of a defensive martial arts. Uh, it ba basically it teaches you basics for defending yourself if you ever were to like get attacked, mugged in real life. It's more of a self improvement martial arts. We teach you about <laughs> self confidence. We don't use words like perfect or perfection i hate those words i absolutely hate that word it's one of the, it's one of the words i refuse to use in my vocabulary i mean we can't that's how you describe amy rose so you know, <laughs> that word has to be used in something <laughs> but um we we never use the word it's got to a point now where if someone uses the word perfect in my dojang i will make them do 20 press-ups are you telling me if someone just goes like, oh man, that was perfect, you'll, you'll just like, no, 20 push-ups. If they're an instructor, yes. <laughs> they shouldn't be describing things as perfect. <laughs> um, but like, Jesus, okay. if they, uh, well, it's, it's, um, we teach people to be the best them, the best you can be. Like, we, 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 um, for me, I have a strong belief that people can be the best of what they can be to their own abilities. It's not about comparing someone to someone else. We don't want to compare, like, obviously people are different. People have different abilities in terms of movements, in terms of other sort of things. But we don't want people to compete or compare themselves to each other. We want them to be the best of what they can do. It's wholesome. That's, that's why I don't really use the word perfect for martial arts. Uh, th there's no perfect way of doing anything. So when, when, so when a game goes like good, great, awesome, outstanding, amazing, <laughs> <laughs> and then possibly actually it doesn't go perfect. But like when a game, when you get a perfect thing in in a game, is that like you you're just like holding your controller, gripping it tightly, and it begins to step. <laughs> It's like, it could have been better. <laughs> like I'm, receiving a playing Rhythm Heaven. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I'm like that when I see something that says perfect. I'm like, no, it could be better. How dare you say that's perfect. This isn't perfection. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Next question from, from a Garner. <laughs> yeah. A Garner. <laughs> Um, what would be your idea? <laughs> you actually used the word perfect. <laughs> what would be your idea <laughs> of a perfect or as close to perfect as possible game for each of your favorite franchises? <laughs> All right, Connor, twenty push ups right now. <laughs> <laughs> See, again, uh, we, he did put in brackets or as close to perfect as possible game from each of your franchises. I guess for me, an example would probably be Mario Odyssey. Yeah, just more Mario Odyssey. More Mario Odyssey. <laughs> Mario Odyssey. Just do Mario Odyssey 2 and have stuff like, I don't know, if I were to change anything about Mario, uh, uh, Mario Odyssey, um, would be like the, the, the slight thing of some moons requiring motion controls and how sometimes you can just, sorry? Did you say Amy Rose? <laughs> <laughs> yes, add Amy Rose as player two. That will make the game actually perfect. <laughs> and have online that's equal to Super Mario Party so I can play with Kelly. <laughs> yeah. True, true perfection. The, the definition of perfection right there, I gave it to you. That's that's the true definition of perfection. <laughs> I want to see with Amy Rose. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> but no, for, for me, for, for me, Mario Odyssey nailed it for me pretty much nearly. Like, uh, um, I, I couldn't ask for anything better apart from like the, the motion control being more like, hey, if you use motion control, it can do this. That way you're more like, because I don't really think they ever told you about motion controls. I mean, yeah, it pops up at the bottom saying you can also do this, but like, I think that's kind of it. It's never described as mandatory. For me, SRB2, Modern Sonic, we have Sonic, mo with Modern Sonic and Friends, and cutscenes and prettier levels. L like, literally what SRB2 is, I think, is perfect for 3D Sonic. Have yeah. everyone play the same levels, have it so you can pick whatever character you want to go for the story, um, and have it so everyone's unique abilities have their moments where, pr practically the, the design philosophy of the early Sonic games where you could pick Sonic Ta or Sonic or Tails or Knuckles, and it's practically the same game, but there's little things that open up for each character, and you're kind of getting the gist of the same thing happening, no matter which character you play. Yeah. Um, um, and just, yeah, pretty, pretty. <laughs> <laughs> pretty yeah, I mean, SRB2 is pretty, um, for a sprite-based game and whatnot, oh, but yeah. like, that bit, full-on, power of the PlayStation 5. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's what I would want out of, if, if I was to design a Sonic game, I would look closely at it, what SRB2 did. They, they did very well. very, very yeah. good. Yeah. I, I, I really want to make a video on this standard SRB2. I'll, everyone tells me... Everyone, everyone thinks I don't know that it exists because I just make SRV2 cart videos. Everyone just thinks I only know cart, but no, I, I played SRV2, the original, all the time. I think back in 2006 or 2007 when I was there. We wow. was a baby. <laughs> we baby cat. I mean, I like the idea you brought forward of the uh, me and you playing it with combi <laughs> just together. I do want to do that, but uh, and I, uh, I'm modern Sonic, just like Mike. No, <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I'm gonna play the Yakko Posh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jewel. Uh, what about you? Oh, it's okay. I already have it. It's called Super Monkey Ball. <laughs> <laughs> you all thought, you all thought she was gonna say Pokemon, but no. Uh, oh my god, I, I was hard to expect expecting Pokemon, but then my brain, oh no, Julie ain't gonna say Pokemon. It's gonna be something funny. What's the funniest game that Julie can say? I wasn't actually sure what it could be. <laughs> I hope they make Monkey Ball Pit Cross one day. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> you and your pit cross. <laughs> no, I don't know, because it's like, the ideal Pokemon game is such a, it's such a vague thing, because it's like, I'd love if they could put in more stuff that they do in like the spin-offs, like some spin-offs focus a lot more on the battling that people want to see in the main games, some people, like some games like Snap focus on other aspects, but I think that's what the spin-offs are for, like maybe the main games can't focus on those things quite as much. You know what I want, I want in an all Pokemon game, when you go into a battle, you get brought into a battle style like Pokemon Tournament, yeah I want my game to be filled with that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Just as long as we don't have that really weird freaking looking Blastoise, I'm good. <laughs> Raindrops. <laughs> take me a lot, take me away from you. I like how we both thought the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on, we have a question from ID Ash, which says to Mike and to Mike and Callie. Uh, what has been your favorite part of creating content for YouTube? And I guess Jewel for the world to uh, include you into it. I'll get you for honestly. <laughs> <Would be>, uh, <laughs> Alright, fine then. <laughs> do you, do you want to go first, Kelly, or? Well, the main reason I do YouTube, uh, 100% the, the primary focus, and everything else is a bit of a bonus. Cool bonuses. But it's to scrapbook the moments I have with my friends forever. And that's why I don't do a lot of collabs unless I know the person. Like, people have asked me to collab with so-and-so. I'm like, I don't even know who this guy is. I, I'm sorry, but I have no interest whatsoever. Mm. Um, I just, a little, uh, for me, it's all about making memories and having them forever. So the SRB2 cart video that, like, came out literally a week ago... I want to be able to go back and watch that, say, five years from now and just be like... Taken back to that time, taken yeah. back to that moment. It's all about, for me, it's all about scrapbooking. Um, I love that, uh, I, though I do love that I get to meet a lot of people who enjoy the content. Like, obviously, I have a Discord and I've met a, a lot of really good friends um, from making YouTube videos. Like, I met Mink um, 
entirely because of doing YouTube, and for those who do not know Mink is, Mink is Marley, but they've changed their name to Mink. Um, but, um, yeah, no, um, I forgot the question. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's your favorite, well, favorite part about creating content for YouTube, so I guess that, that well, technically yeah, is it, isn't it, really? Yeah, no, I just kind of got on a tangent and then was like, oh, no, what am no, I actually it's... answering? <laughs> No, that's a very, I remember before you started your YouTube, you said to me that's the, that was the reason you wanted to do YouTube, was to scrapbook memories, and unlike mm. a lot of YouTubers, you've stayed your way, that is your, that's still your meaning for it. Yeah, no, like, I, I, the aim, the, the only video that is not exactly that is the Amy Rose video, mm. because that was something I really wanted to make. Uh, and I definitely felt like I could do a better job on it now, but you know, it was the first story time video, and possibly the only story time video I've, I will ever do. That was just a st thing I wanted to tell and share about why, why I keep on making jokes about she's a baby girl. Look, 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 look at this hedgy up there. You see that hedgy up there? You know that 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 that. That's a good hedge. I love that hedge. The blue one on the top is kind of a dork there. Well, I guess for me, uh, one of the reasons I do YouTube is the very similar, um, the very similar reason to why Kai does it as well. I would, I'd love scrap scrapbooking memories with friends, and just going back to them, watching them, and just like reliving those memories. It's very nice. Um, it's definitely one of the main reasons I do it. Another reason I also do it is to just spread. Say, for instance, someone if someone's having like a bit of a downer day, or they're just feeling like a bit uh i want to watch some want to watch someone be goofy and just you know be stupid silly with their with video games and just have a laugh like my if i if someone says to me you made me smile today then that's my day fulfilled if i can make someone smile make someone laugh then i i feel like i've had a day well spent you know <laughs> so whenever like hmm. so, whenever because I get this sometimes in streams or in comments, like oh, someone will cut, like someone will be like in stream saying, "Hey, I like um, uh, thank you." Like, or someone uh, like you think for you streaming today has made my day a lot better. And whenever so, so whenever someone says that to me, um, I'm 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 just like, all I'm doing is being me. I don't I don't <laughs> I'm just uh, I'm just a human like everyone else. I'm not doing anything special, but just sharing what I'm doing with everybody. And if that's enough to make people smile then i'm happy to do that you know oh, that's sweet <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know, that's... <laughs> can, can i help you <laughs> wake up well jewel has there been anything like what's been your favorite part about like i guess because obviously you're in a lot of mine and Callie's stuff you're in our streams you're in our videos what's been like your favorite part about uh you have also as well done like artwork thumbnails for uh me and Callie quite a lot too it's like a good opportunity to like hang out with you guys and do goofy stuff isn't it <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for making Sonic R. I do appreciate that. That's oh funny. yes, thank you for making Sonic R. It's a, <laughs> it's very good game. Very oh, good what? singer. What? I can't hear you. I think oh, I might put some no. Sonic R music here if it's if it's allowed to be used to just uh, for Jewel. Yeah, no, it is. No, I'm gonna copyright you. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to interrupt you. What the heck has just happened? Huh? There is Sonic news, but it's nothing what you expect. Oh, oh shit, what happened? Uh, Live uh, Mike Tendo Talks reaction right <laughs> Live now. Live Mike Tendo uh, Talks Sonic reaction. Dash t Sonic Dash 2 has received its first update ever, really. Okay. And that has Isn't added that like another... four years old? That At yeah, least. That's, the that's the Sonic Boom version of Sonic Dash. It's added Vector. Vector? <laughs> <laughs> 14 minutes ago, this post was. This happened while we were doing this. Well, there you go. You heard it here <laughs> first, folks. <laughs> I highly doubt it. They heard it here first because that's oh, yeah. already going to be news around people. No, I'm <laughs> going to upload this raw. Just this bit. After the video is done, just I'm just going to cut this bit and upload this bit raw. <laughs> Mega Hardline add infinite into the Sonic Forces mobile game. <laughs> <laughs> what is <you> not there? <laughs> See, that's a fair one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I think that will do it for this episode of Mike Tendo Talks. Thank you again for joining me, Kenny McGann and Jewel Moon. It has been, it's been an honor having you, an honor, pleasure, all that kind of good stuff having you here. It's been good. 
excuse me, could you, <laughs> could you no, leave, uh, the leave the doggy, leave the doggy. Doggy! Get out the dog, Joe. Doggy. We got them dog now, they can't get it. I'm turning up the camera. No. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And a special thank you to all my Lua members out there. Your support means a galaxy to me, and it helps the channel out a lot, so thank you again. Also, I stream every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, so feel free to stop by and say hi. Anyway, I hope you have a fantastic day, and take care. Bye, everybody!